afternoon. We're on our way to Aldi and I am looking forward to the possibility of bananas for 10 cents a pound, which somebody said bam on my Instagram that they got that. I didn't get that deal yet, but I am on my way to look. And I'm going to have to return my doggy hair trimmers because I have to get those dogs groomed. I do get a very good deal on them if I wash them ahead. My main groomer guy, Mr. Bill, he does a fabulous job. And if I wash them ahead, he does them for 22 a piece. You can't beat that. And I could just get them skimmed down for the summertime, a summertime crew cut for Maxie and Ellie Mae. Because they're starting to get these little... I can't trim up in their feet and like then Ellie you almost have to sit on her and then she yells like you're too heavy because she wants to move it's a problem <laughs> I just don't want to cut them you know so I have to go there but on the way I thought we would be thinking about a few things first of all do y'all like to do math you know math is not my subject uh, I actually failed out I'm not grand algebra and had to retake it and Still, I barely skim by. I just really am really, really bad at it. But I can do this math, and here it is. Addition, addition of those habits that bring you health and vibrancy, you know, and subtraction of those things that do not serve you to bring you closer to your goal and your life's purpose on your health journey, right? Addition and subtraction, simple as that. Is the next bite you're putting in your mouth going to promote your goal or bring you down? Is it going to aim towards the middle of your target or go way past it? You know, this road's very bumpy. Um, here's another thing. You know, I keep on talking to y'all about coming to you where you are because here's another thing I don't think gets addressed a lot. I'm going to have a small little series on gut disorders and what to do about them because there's a lot of people coming to this lifestyle and they are, it is very wobbly, they're having a lot of digestive disorders. They're coming from that in the first place and all of a sudden they go from basically taking in no fiber to taking in abundant fiber and their body is saying, ah, what are you doing? And they're bloated up and you know, if you're going to do this lifestyle, you want to feel good, you want to be able to move, you want all those things, all those benefits that you can have. So here's the thing, you know, our body has good and bad bacteria in there, okay? Every time I hear someone tell me that they've been on, I don't know, 10 rounds of antibiotics in one year, I become extremely concerned about that because those friends have let those antibiotics, because they don't know any better, kill off all their good bacteria and the bad. It is a clean sweep, you know? It's kind of like putting Drano through your system. It's not just going to take out certain things. It's going to clean all of it out. Then what happens is when we're bombarded in this world with bad bacteria, we don't have any good intestinal flora, good bacteria in our body to fight that down. And it causes you to have a lower immune system, a weakened immune system. Also, it enables you not to be able to digest food you know, so we've got that killing the intestinal flora. We've got drugs, I mean medications, you know, that basically kill all the gut flora also. You've got GMOs out there now, you know, allowing more chemicals to be put on food to kill the bugs, right? And then we're ingesting those pesticides in a lot if they kill the bugs, which are kind of equivalent to bacteria, then Ah, it's going to kill the good bacteria. Like, for example, GMO corn has this kind of BT toxin on it. And what it is, it's like a sharp protein and it pokes holes in the, um, the insect's guts and they basically explode, is just the, long, the short of the long story. And so, no, your guts aren't going to explode, but over time, what's, that, what's going to happen to your system? Um, and I'm not saying be paranoid about every little thing like that, but we do have to take all these things into consideration. Though at the same time, not becoming overwhelmed if you're first on, on this journey. If you're just starting out on this journey, you know, more fresh, ripe, whole fruits and vegetables than yesterday. That is the bottom line. And then you're going to learn and you're going to investigate and you're going to know, you're going to tweak, you're going to build your gut floor, you're going to do all these things. And it's not going to seem overwhelming because 
there's a day and a time for everything. And one day and one moment in time is not enough time for everything, you know? I'll tell y'all something about that in a minute. See, I almost need you to really be talking back to me so you can say, could you remind me, what were you going to say? <laughs> but, um, what else I want to tell you? You know, just like the chlorine in water, the toxins in all the water, all these things killing all your good bacteria. Though carbon filters get most of that out. I mean, I'm not saying be paranoid about everything. I'm not saying if you're dehydrated, Dang, if you're that dehydrated, drink out of the hose pipe, you know? If you're at the point where you're going to have to go to the hospital and have IVs pumped into you, and gosh knows what else, right? Um, another thing, pasteurized foods. Like if we have, sometimes I'll have a backup plan of like a pasteurized juice. Um, Cudson is a brand I like to have their cranberry juice and a couple things, but realize that this is a pasteurized product, and it's pasteurized means it's killed the bacteria in there, right? Not just the good, but the bad, and that's going to come in, and thus again, the same problem. So, again, we want to have more fresh, whole, ripe plant foods, you know, raw. Um, we kill off the good bacteria. Um, another thing, you know, we've got to use all the hand sanitizers. You, that's something I do not use. I, I, I can't remember when I've had a cold or a flu or anything like that. I have been sick within the last year for a couple of days, maybe a day, with like a fibromyalgia body pain, and it was pesticides on celery. I have narrowed it down to that. I don't really get a sore throat. I don't get, the only thing that plagues me is my guts will not function properly if I don't combine well. Um, radiated food, another thing. Killing the food, it looks alive, but guess what, it's not. So all these things are something to consider. Um, so, so just like, you know, not being paranoid, knowing that that pasteurized juice is not as good as, you know, let's say you got the organic celery and you juice that and you drink it straight down right out of your slow auger juicer, you know, so you didn't oxidize the juice and you got all, you know, all your bang for your buck. Uh, somebody was asking me about, do I eat all organic? I absolutely don't because I cannot afford it. When I can get my hands on organic, I hold it tight, you know? And when I get to a point that I can afford more of that, if I had more money, would I spend more on my hair or would I spend more on getting the best quality fruits and vegetables, definitely the food. If you don't have your health, it doesn't matter what your hair looks like. You know what I mean? That's just an example, or anything, you know, or would I have a better car? Would I have, no, I would have the best fruits and vegetables I can get my hands on. Um, so I do strive towards that, but you do what you can, you know. Um, so, you know, everybody's different, coming from different digestive health. Uh, okay, we're going to go across the railroad track. It's going to be bumpy. <laughs> so, you know, when people come to 801010, or they come to raw vegan, especially if they're incorporating a lot of fat, let's hope we're, we're in the mindset to get past that some, because the fat you eat is the fat you wear, and I don't care if it's raw organic plant food fat, you, your body only needs so much. Yes, it is good for you. It's really, really good for you. So is the sun, but you don't want to sit out there for 12 hours in the desert either like this, you know. You only need so much of a good thing. Um, so you have to look at where you're coming from, and if you're very interested in this digestive situation, let me know in the comments because that's something that interests me very much. I like to make my own sauerkraut. I think it's very tasty on zoodles. It's good over salad. It's good. It just gives lots of, it's like free flavor. And then in turn, you're creating healthy bacteria, beneficial flora, which go into your body. They colonize, they thrive, they live their happy, positive vibe in your guts where they're supposed to live, you know? Everything digests, you can assimilate the nutrients. Everybody's happy when the intestinal flora comes home, you know? So, what else did I want to tell you? So I'm not telling you that to, to make you paranoid or anything like that, but I'm just trying to say two points, is that 
it's more than just saying, okay, well, um, 80, 10, 10, I'm going to get 80% carbohydrates. This is like I said the other day, are you carbed up or nutrient up, you know? There's, there's more to a story than the first line you read, you read, you know? And never stop learning. I mean, you've heard that a million times, but never stop learning on health because don't you want to go higher and higher? That's what I want. It's very busy over here today. So... Y'all have a good day. Bye.